Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Platitude Era podcast. Thank you for listening to us on the Anchor app, Spotify, CastBox, uh, Google Podcast. We just keep getting uh, more and more platforms. And remember, you can always watch our podcast on YouTube, the Platitude Era. Search for us, Platitude Era, wherever you listen to podcasts or on YouTube. If you need to get in touch with us, Twitter, at Platitude Era, or you could follow us on Instagram, Platitude Era Show. In this episode of the podcast, we will be doing our very first product review. We are going to be reviewing a product that is being cross-promotion with Game of Thrones and Johnny Walker Scottish Whiskey. That's right. Game of Thrones, it's approaching its final season, which is this year, 2019, and Now the hype machine is beginning and starting, and we are reviewing our first product. So, what are your thoughts initially on the bottle? Uh, It's a pretty interesting design. It's got the uh, Johnny Walker logo uh, crossed with the uh, Night King. It's called White Walker, Johnny Walker, White Walker. Uh, it's It's like a thing. Now, do you believe that this is uh, the actual Night King, or this is uh, like what the Johnny Walker logo or guy would look like if he was a white walker and that's probably the night king okay so as you can tell on the bottle we have the night king and the bottle uh, resembles the figure of what like a ice sphere icicle Mm -hmm. it's white it's got uh, blue cracks which the blue cracks represent the water expanding that's right does water expand when it's frozen yes that's how chemistry works so the water is expanding and it's causing the ice to crack and break. So it's it's a very nice looking bottle. I love the look of the bottle. And then on the back, you got this description, which says, uh, once forgotten and reduced to ancient legends, white walkers have emerged from the frozen north, bringing with them the chill of winter and the promise of terror and destruction to all who stand in their path. With their tall blades of ice capable of slicing through iron And their silent, icy blue gaze, they are a chilling sight. When you see the undead coming, you know winter is here. That's funny. I thought it was like a Stark phrase. So does that mean that Starks are descendants of the White Walkers? Uh, well, wasn't the, uh, spoilers, aren't White Walkers originally like the first men? Yes, but uh, winter is coming is the sigil of House Stark. And then winter is here is because it's getting cold. Then uh, right underneath that description, we have uh, White Walker by Johnny Walker is a blended scotch whiskey inspired by these chilling inducing walkers. At the heart of the blend are single malts from Cardhu and Clenish one of Scotland's most northern distilleries. This whiskey is chill filtered to 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's cold. And best served cold directly from the freezer, featuring notes of caramelized sugar and vanilla, fresh red berries with a touch of orchard fruit. This whiskey develops in complexity as it is warms, to room temperature. Then underneath, there's a little, uh, what do you call that, warning or what is in the bottom? Yeah. Suggestion, tip. Mm. Freeze for an unexpected icy reveal. Now, I bought this bottle and then I had to go work and I left you alone with the bottle. So uh, what happened before you froze the bottle and afterwards? Uh, before I froze the bottle, it was at room temperature. And then after I froze the bottle, it was cold. And then what was the unexpected icy reveal? I get the bottle was cold and it hurt my hand. That's it? So I guess the icy reveal is in the flavor? All right, so um, is there anything else you want to say about the bottle before we crack no, it open I'd and hurry taste up it? and open it up. I don't know. Who gives a shit about the bottle? It's what's the inside that counts. All right. Do you want to uh, do the honors and crack no, it open? you're closer. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm sorry. I have a mic in my hand. I have a mic too, so I'm going to set down the mic. I'm sorry for any noise Make or sure anything. Make sure it sounds really loud, like this. <laughs>
Oh, man, I feel bad. At the cap, it says Johnny Walker Game of Thrones Limited Edition. How limited could it be if the Costco had like rows and rows and dozens and dozens and crates and crates of this stuff? Because they're not going to sell it every year. Yeah, but I mean, if it's so good, then you you just relabel it as something else and just... You know, connoisseurs of the Johnny Walker would be like, well, they got rid they got rid of the McRib, but then they replaced it with such and such. I just cracked the paper. The bottle looks like ice, but it's wallpaper. Now, am I supposed to let it breathe? No, I don't know. It's not wine. <laughs> oh, that smells good. It smells really good. Do you detect notes of nuttiness and caramelliness or whatever. Do you want to smell it? it? Smells like syrupy booze. Well, that was in the description that they use caramelized sugar and other things. Now we're going to try it straight up. No, which one do you want? Who gives a shit? Clink! Cheers. That face of yours, you don't look like you're going to enjoy it. Well, I'm not much of a hard liquor drinker. Especially not straight up. All right, so we just poured ourselves a shot of White Walker by Johnny Walker. Smells like paint thinner. (laughs) Oh my gosh, that's too strong for me. I am not a liquor guy. That is too strong. Uh, we got these bottles at Costco. As far as we know, they're only selling this at Costco, right? I'm pretty sure they sold it everywhere. You just happen to stumble upon it on Costco because you're not going to a BevMo or whatever. We we love Game of Thrones and we're excited for Game of Thrones. And uh, I don't think they've ever done anything like this. So it seems like um, because a show is wrapping up in its final season, they're trying to max out on, on promotion as much as they can and surrender to the hype machine because they did take a year off. And I feel like that year's hurt them a little bit. Well, I mean, a trailer just came out like talking about their premieres in April. So I, I'm pretty sure that's bringing back some of the hype. I'm pretty sure plenty of people are like, oh, yeah, that show. <laughs> <laughs> like, people probably forgot about it, but, I mean, the release is closer than it is further, so why aren't pe- why wouldn't people be excited? Now, I've never had Johnny Walker, so I can't tell you how this bottle compares to uh, other brands of Johnny Walker. What do you think of the taste? It tastes like artificial, syrupy, sweetened, mixed with just hard hard ass liquor you took the uh, words right out of my mouth there's nothing special about this um, no, it's in a bottle the you bottle spent is like half of this fucking show talking about the bottle <laughs> we're reviewing the bottle um it's just really sweet and really strong um do they expect us to mix this with something else like uh scotch and soda or uh i think there's recipes online but Michael Scott's favorite drink, which is um, Splenda and Scotch. If you uh, you go on Johnny Walker's website, there's like there's like one called like I don't know the the Crow Fucker or some <laughs> shit. I don't know. They're, 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 they they have recipes. <laughs> uh, so Game of Thrones, the final season is premiering April fourteenth. Uh, good luck trying to get your taxes done if you wait till the last second because. Taxes usually what is April 15th, April 16th, whatever. Um, you can pick up this bottle of uh, Game of Thrones Johnny White Walker. As far as we know, for sure, Costco, maybe anywhere else they sell liquor. Um, freeze for an unexpected reveal. I don't know. The bottle on the side says winter is here. And that's true as uh, Westeros begins, it's it's freezing because the White Walkers are going, moving from north to, do you have any idea what the White Walkers' plan is? Uh, kill, crush, kill, destroy. Okay, so are they expected to lose or do they think they're going to win? 
Uh, I hope they win. <laughs> so then what happens? They make their way down into King's Landing. They kill everybody along the way. And then what's what's left for the White Walkers? Um, well, they get their lands back. Wow. Um, you have anything else to add? No, this was your dumb podcast. It was a lot of fun. I always wanted to do a product review, and I think the best product reviews are the ones that feature alcohol, right? Yeah, but except the part where you don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not an alcohol guy. I don't like alcohol. Um, my mom suggested <laughs> that, uh, when we review the product, we talk about how when we open the bottle, dragons came out. Wow. You look upset. <laughs> like, that was not a funny joke. My mom laughed really hard when she said that. Z dragons and zombies came out of the bottle. That's how good it tastes. It tastes like you're putting a dragon and a zombie in your mouth. No, that was great. <laughs> I'm glad you spent time on that. I didn't. That was my mom's idea. And really? uh, Then why am I hearing it? Mom? Because you weren't there when she told me. Mom, if you're listening, your joke, I put it in. Love you, Mom. Wow, your mom's hilarious. She's a regular Louis C.K. <laughs> That's offensive. To who? My mom, because Louis C.K. hates women. And, uh, well, now that we're getting into Game of Thrones season, are you with me? Next Monday, no. we review season one, episode one. We start rewatching Game of Thrones to get ready for the final season. You want to review the series one episode at a time? Well, based on your schedule, I'm going to guess that we're going to be finished. We're going to be catching up with the series finale three years after it airs. Oh, well, I mean, that depends. I mean, if you can get ahead of me and watch more episodes than me, then. Yeah, but you want to review them on a per episode basis when there's only three months left until the season starts. We can review, release more podcasts. <sighs> Uh, <laughs> it's very gassy all right everyone so remember to tune into the platitude era podcast wait for next, the next week 60 episodes that we're apparently going to be recording of this show so uh everyone tune in to the platitude era podcast next week when we will be reviewing season one episode one of game of thrones we are going to rewatch every episode and get ready get up to speed and get set and go for the final season of Game of Thrones 2019. April 14, 2019. The final season of Game of Thrones. Thank you very much everybody for listening to the Platitude Era podcast. Wherever you find podcasts such as Anchor App, Spotify, CastBox, Google Podcast. We're not on iTunes yet. But we are on YouTubes where you can find some visual aids on our YouTube Platitude Era channel. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram for updates or reach out and contact us. Twitter at Platitude Era. Instagram at Platitude Era Show. We love you all. Till the next podcast.